Hey guys, it's also Prince Fifty Six here. Today I just want to play a little bit more Minecraft. Uh, sorry if I'm a little bit too close to the mic. I'll fix that uh, in post production. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is actually um, I'm not gonna do anything different today. I'm just going to actually um, I don't know. I guess you could call it different. Anyways, I'm gonna show you how to make a small redstone piston door. Um, as you see, I'm loaded up my redstone world. Uh, I do have a little bit of a project that I've done on here. Uh, I never did find everything that I once had on here. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to give you a little tour of it for uh, this area first. Okay, first is the, is the chest on request system as made by Seth Pling. Um You know, the, the system's a little, well, not a little simple. It's really simple. You just step on this. A chest comes up here, and you get diamonds and whatever else you want to put in that chest. And you come in here, and you also step on this uh, and that same chest with 13 diamonds is in it. Okay, to put that is the same chest. I'm just gonna put a stone right there. And as you saw, the, the chest went by on that, and it's the stones right there again. So that's just a little proof that it does work. Uh, I'm going to set it to daytime here. So, yeah, I've been having this problem where it double clicks on red, uh, on super flat maps. Um, this right here, I'm not going to turn it on, but um, uh, Seth Bling also did this. Whenever there's a redstone update, close to uh yeah anyways that's a rapid fire thing um yeah i made a uh, a concept to a lockable piston door like like uh, okay so you can uh lock it by using this lever right here now it does take quite a bit of redstone to be able to actually lock it so um whenever the uh lever is pointed up the lock will be activated so push that all you want to that door will not open and just to prove it I'm going I am going to go on the other side uh, and just push that button again and you see it won't open but if we go over here on the other side again and we put this lever down you'll notice that it opens now one piston is firing a little bit faster than uh, all the other ones I can't quite figure out how it's how or why it's doing that but I guess it's just the way I wired it up but um, it does take up that much space uh, the wiring it does um, just quickly go in here and show you um, but yeah that, that's that's all I did on in here now if you can tell me why this piston right here would be firing faster than all the other pistons uh, then please comment down below um, but yeah this is all the wiring this is the wiring for this right here I couldn't couldn't find a plausible reason uh, to put another redstone there if this one right here would activate that piston. But anyways, uh, let me go out of here so I don't I don't show off my secrets too much. Um, but yeah, I see things on YouTube and then I try to figure them out for myself and that's basically what I came up with. Um, Okay, the thing that I most recently worked on, and I really want to get rid of these items, is the toilet. Uh, I'm not going to go too, too much into um, in, in depth with this, but it did take me quite a bit of debugging to actually get this to work. So, as you see, throw your items on, you click on the button, the trap door will open, you'll hear a piston fire after a few seconds and then you come into here and you can see that the items are going to burn 
but the redstone it just goes all the way around uh, to a piston that's there. Uh, the it's inverted so that the piston will be out and then it'll retract when, whenever you hit the button. So uh, just a little fun fact for you there. Um, so let me just get the supplies I need right now. Uh, let's see, I'll need redstone torch button. Uh, stone, redstone, of course I'll need that, and then I'll need some redstone repeaters. And I think that should be about it. Uh, so, what I'm going to work on is I'm going to, sh where should I go? I really don't want to make it. I really don't want to make this world all cluttered up with uh, things, but then again, I don't want uh, to have something like five blocks out this direction and then have another thing just like two blocks over here and all that stuff. So I guess I'll just start right here. So the way you make, oh, <laughs> and of course I forget to get the sticky pistons. Okay, the way you make a piston door is basically what you're going to do, let me turn it back to noon here, is you're going to want to place two pistons just like this right on top of each other and you're going to um, yeah you're going to put some, first of all you're going to make the hallway Yeah, and then you're going to build a hallway around it. So just to save us a little bit of time, I'll just cut the... I'll, I'll pause this and get it back uh, up whenever I'm done with the hallway. So, um, yeah. Okay, I'm not 100% sure that this is long enough. It, actually, I'm sure, 100% sure it's not long enough. So, um... Sorry for the lag. It's caused by my screen recorder. It's capturing, uh, at trying to capture at 60 frames per second, and my computer just can't handle it. But soon enough, I will buy another computer with more RAM on it and all that stuff. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're actually going to uh, start wiring from the um, yeah, start wiring from the pistons over here. And the way we're gonna do this is we're going to um, I'm going to have repeaters. Okay. Um, I'm sorry, I haven't done this in a while. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna have that repeater hooked up as well as yeah <laughs> oh gosh I haven't done this in forever uh, and basically the input will be right here it'll be inverted so we're gonna put a piece of redstone there and we're going to put the button on there and then we're just going to connect that. The door's closed. Push the button. They open and then they close again. And the way you want, what you want to do is you you want to um, you want to put another repeat there. And you want to put four ticks. And I would set these to four ticks, but I'm not 100% sure on how exactly they work. Um, but we'll see. And turn the rain off. Yeah, it's enough time to push the button and run through. And what we're gonna do uh, is we're going to just put a uh, button on the other side. So we're gonna extend this hallway out another one, and we're going to. Again, 
I don't think we're going to need to invert it because it'll already be inverted. Not too sure. Not too too sure. But uh, what we're gonna do is we're going to have to go way far out here so it does not conflict with that redstone, and we're going to um, need to just come all the way around to this one over here. And of course, like, um, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. We'll need a repeater here. It doesn't matter that I accidentally broke that. Uh, let's see. And let's just push this button and see if they go off. Yeah, that's good enough. And yeah, the last step in this process is, of course, um, making sure everything is even. Uh, so, this is about the time that it starts double clicking on me. So, um,. So I think I did pretty good um, with an explanation of that. That That is how it works, and that's how I did it on my old map. Um, sorry if you hear people in the background talking. Those are That's the fun with working uh, with a family in the house at the same time. And that was like a quad click or something. I don't know what the heck that was. Uh, let's see. And yeah. I'll just extend out the hallway until until the desired amount is reached and then we're going to also just cover this part up over here and uh... yeah you guys get to see this fast forwarded starting now Okay, so I'm almost done. Um, I'm wrestling with this double click thing here. It's just absolutely killing me. And I'm going to get a grass block in my inventory. Because I know how much I need uh, grass blocks. Okay, uh, and I'm just going to fix this right over here. And I'm going to put a roof on it. Uh, probably after the video is over with. So, um, yeah. Actually, I'll do that right now. Jump cut. Actually, no, it's not a jump cut. Uh, fast forward. Derp. Uh. Actually, yeah, it's gonna be a jump cut. Okay. Uh, so, you, as you can see, it's fully nighttime, and at this point, I usually take the time to place torches all over the thing. Uh, notice in my first couple of creations, I used uh, I used glowstone around it, but I decided that that was not the best uh, light source. Although it does give off the most amount of light, why would I choose uh, torches over redstone? Uh, glowstone. Uh, not not exactly sure. Um, you figure it would be it being a uh, redstone world. I would choose redstone lamps. Again, I'm not a big big fan of redstone lamps myself, but uh, I have used them in a, in the past. Uh, so I don't know. I might go back to them. So, how am I going to do this? Alright, two blocks in, I'll put a torch, and then on either side, one block before the piston. Ooh. 
But all this is to get around. Yeah. And I'll just replace this right here. What the heck was that? Okay. Anyways, um, so I'll replace this grass with a little bit of stone. And if I ever choose to publicly release this map, um, I will put it in survival mode just uh, to put it a little challenge on you guys. But um, anyways, uh, I lit up the inside so it doesn't you don't have to worry about uh, things spawning in there. But anyways, yeah, my name is Oz Friends 56, and I bid you all farewell. Thanks so much for watching.